Welcome back to Pillows of Eternity. I am back from being sick. Uh, actually, I was just sick the entire week and I didn't really do anything. And I didn't actually play much. I was, I was sick enough. I actually had a fever. Okay, I actually talked about it uh, yesterday in a, in a short video. I was really sick and I didn't even play. But in the last couple of days, I was well enough to play. And so uh, I did. I, I actually played quite quite a lot. So much, in fact, that I'm in the punner. In the P-O-N-R. In the point of no return. Yes. I click this, apparently, and jump in. And that's the end of the game. That's the end of chapter of Act 3 and the beginning of Act 4, according to what I've been told. And it just ends very quickly. It's not a very long act. It's just... It's just the ending, so that's that's what we're gonna do today. And I can prove that to you if you take a look at my quest log, and you can see that they're all grayed out. I've actually done each and every single one of these motherfuckers, and only the hollowing of the Deerwood, which is the main quest, is left. The Court of Stars descended to the pit in the Burial Isle, um, and then Court of the Pinions, which is leap into the pit as well. So just just gotta finish the game now. That's it. So I actually went through every single thing that you could do in the game. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. Obviously, I don't know if I did, and uh, we'll, we, we'll only be able to check that later. In terms of the big stuff that I did, you know, you know off, off video, in case you're wondering, and clearly tons of spoilers and everything, it's the end of the game, what do you expect? Um, in terms of the main quest, I promised I promised the, the, the gods, I did all of the god quests, and I promised Helia, I believe, that I will that I will return the souls that Theos is stealing right now uh, into the Hollowborn and make all the moms really happy, you know? And that's because the Grieving Mother re apparently really wanted me to do that, and I like the Grieving Mother a lot, so I said, let's do that. Uh, just for her, pretty much. Other, other, all the gods wanted different things, and I went with her and I got her blessing, Helia's uh, blessing. In terms of the the other things, what's what's happening actually is that Theos is is like the um, w Woodica, which is one of the evil gods, is whispering in his ear, and she wants to become the ultimate evil, whatever, the ultimate god, and blah blah blah, and have all the soul power and all the crap. So we're just gonna go and stop him, you know? It's kind of okay. All right. Uh, yeah. In terms of all the quests and stuff, I guess that you you mostly want to hear about the big bosses and the big stuff. So there's the sky sky dragon over here. Uh, yeah, I let it just stay there. I didn't even fight it. I didn't fight the sky dragon because it was like, yeah, sure, stay there. Why would I kill it? There's no reason to kill it. And later I found out that the only way you can enchant, the only way you can actually enchant something, if we'll just take whatever, and enchant it to be superb is with sky dragon eyes. So you actually have to kill it, which sucks ass. And it's the only way to get sky dragon eyes, according to the internet at least. So. Well, that sucks. I don't really care at all, but yeah. And also, by the way, I'm just naked at this point, and look at my chiseled abs, because why the hell would I have anything that has recovery speed on it? Because you never get hit. If you get hit, we've done something wrong, you know? So whatever. Um, and yeah, the only way to, to enchant these into Superb is with Adra Dragon Scales. And the Adra Dragon is actually, um, super spoiler here, the master below. So beneath Cade Nuau, which is your, your, there, there's like 15, there's a mega dungeon. And it's a mega dungeon with 15 levels at the bottom. There's actually the Adra Dragon. And I didn't fight that one either. Because <laughs> why would I fight it if I could not fight it? There's no reason to fight it. I don't have a really good reason to fight it. It's not like it's a it's a difficult fight to overcome. No, the, the, the way that you kind of beat that fight is through mostly cheesing it. Because if she comes up at you and hits you, she deals like 160 damage or so with her fucking breath attack. And it's bullshit OP crap. So you either just use... Well, it's an either. You use a ton of summons as much as you can, which kind of means I want to have the Chanter Kana in my, in my group and just summon a bunch of crap. And all kinds of figurines and stuff, and you let it. You let the dragon kill those things, and you also cast just a ton of, of, of status effects that, that remove it from doing anything, like paralysis and prone, 
uh, like knockback stuff, and and you just try and, and hope you could kill it. And it's really lame. So I didn't. I really enjoyed not having to fight it because I just I just helped it escape, really, which was slightly douchey because I took over a dragon dragon slayer's body to do that. Um, but pff, whatever. I, I mean, less dragon slayers, more dragons for me. And I gained an amazing ally, and I didn't have to fight the, probably the hardest boss in the game. Win-win, you know? Except for the Dragon Slayer. So, <laughs> it's a little douchey, and I feel a bit bad about it, but fuck it. So yeah, I didn't fight any of them. <laughs> any of the tr big dragons, I just didn't fight them, sorry. Um, and other than that, there's that's it. I just I did everything there was to do. I'm just gonna jump in the pit now. And we're gonna see if we can finish this in an hour. Probably not, but we're gonna try. And yeah. A great pit lies in the shadow of the statue of Vodica. No light from the surface reaches the bottom, but even so, you catch flickers of a ghostly glow in the depths. A wind from the pit buffets you. It isn't cold, but it raises goose flesh along your arms. The wind carries whisper, low and sibilant. Continue. As you look into the pit, Souls gather around you. They encase you in a cloud of essence that swirls around your body while you consider your next move. Let's do it. Right? Woo! Cutscene time. That was the cutscene. I'm gonna lower my arm now. I actually pressed one and it didn't do anything. Oh, the game is stuck. Okay. Wow, that took up. That was a... Okay. You jump, thrusting in the promises of the gods. Oh, wait! I know why it stopped. That was, that was the stop of a save. So I guess the game automatically auto-saves at that point of no return before you jump. Which is very nice of it to do. Thank you, game. I already made a save, but thank you. You jump, thrusting the promises of the gods and the power of the souls to bear, uh, to bear you safely down. Yeah, the gods basically promised us to, to allow us to do this. Um, if we promise them that we will treat the souls once we kill Theos, once we deal with Theos. Continue. The sudden drop takes your breath away, but the souls catch you, encasing you in a shining, thrumming aura. But while they slow your descent, you can still feel that you're falling faster than you should. The essence flowing around you is strong, but chaotic. You find yourself drifting towards the wall. Continue. The wall, Coco Stern. <laughs> I don't have Athletic 7, and I don't have Resolve 16, so brace yourself. Fuck. You suck your arms and legs into your torso and prepare yourself for impact. You strike the hard surface. The pain lances through your shoulder. Fortunately, the impact knocks you back to the center of the pit, and the soles around your body adjust to keep you there. You manage to spread your arms and legs into an X, studying your position at the rate of your descent. You reach the Court of Repentience, millennia old stone, safely under your feet. Continue. Loading screen time. Okay. So I'm guessing I have some kind of injury now, which are also fun. Basically, these things are just injury generators. <laughs> hmm. And I just got... I just got a, an achievement that I missed. I'm assuming After it's... what seems like an eternity, your rapid descent comes to an abrupt end. You remain still for a moment while your heart settles and your eyes adjust, breathing in stale, forgotten air. Before you... A narrow and eroded walkway becomes faintly visible in the dim light, cutting a winding path through a cavern so expansive it seems a world unto itself. In the distance, you can make out the cold gleam of living Audra veins that spike and fork in and out of view from the murky depths beneath, their glow a faint and fleeting guide along the ancient trail. You look above at the opening you jump through, now barely a speck of light like some distant star alone in the cosmos, and forever out of reach. Your only way lies ahead. Also known as the point of no return. Done. And yeah, I've got a... Sh better than I expected. Shoulder injury. I think I dislocated my... That's better. Well, can I... Can... all right? No shadow knees. Good. Just me, then. This place is cursed. Yeah, everybody's sad. Well, I this is bullshit. Minus two might and, and zero point nine attack speed. That is it's crap. Whatever. Yeah, I get tons of experience. Too bad everybody is at max level at this point, like a long time ago. So this is Brianth Ammon. Um. Okay. And yeah, did I get like? Oh, complete Act Three. That was the. Um, the achievement that I missed. That was stupid of me. 
fight. And I will not repeat that mistake. Sound. We'll keep to ourselves. All right. A million's worth of dust fills the cracks and crevices of the skeletal relief. A million worth of dust. Okay. Yeah. There. Done. Good. Good. All right. Shade. Really? Shades again? Hey. More of those? Ugh, it's so lame, bro. Wait, where's... Where's Doggy? Doggy, why aren't you with us? Doggy, please. All right, then. Leave it to me! Spectre? Fuck. Okay, engage the Spectre. That's... Fucking shades. Hey. I hit shadows. Luckily, they're level one, so you just insta wreck them and not care. Oh, cr okay, this is really bad. Go, 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 go. Okay. Got him. God, I hate specters. So the problem with specters is very simple. They blow up. <laughs> Okay, they blow up, and when they do... Okay, good, okay. Yeah, Amplified Wave is the most OP hey. piece of shit in the game. Pretty much. It is really, really ridiculously stupid, and hmm? I don't understand hey. it, but okay. All right, then. I don't understand why they would allow something like that to exist. Really don't, but it's, it's the best spell ever. Oh, God. I'm sorry. My neck hurts. Okay. So yeah, by the way, if you want to see my inventory, it's not very, like... At some point, you stop giving a shit. I just... I'm sorry. I mean... I'm just... I, I, there's too much crap in here. I've never eaten anything in my life. If you want to eat some? Plus one damage reduction. Yeah. Just eat it. I don't even care. I really don't. What's a few do? Plus five max endurance. I don't care. Minus two focus on hit. 40 fatigue. I don't want a fucking 40 fatigue. Anything gives me damage and might. <sighs> Minus 80 fatigue. Intellect. Fish. <laughs> My ass. So yeah, I don't know. It's just, just so much crap. I don't really care anymore. A pillow tugs at your essence. A pulse from the world itself. Is move for it. Well, I just don't care about anything anymore. Uh, there, there's been too much fucking shades and spirits and stuff like that lately. I'm, I'm kind of really done with that. those types of enemies. Um, and the, the, the strongest ones are, are Caliban Ray or something like that, and they actually have an AoE Paralyze, which is just lovely. I, I really just, huh? just <clears throat> I'm so done with those. Whatever, I'm even happy to see some Audra stuff, because the Audra stuff are even, are like easier, but you usually come in pairs, so hey. I'm assuming there's like 15,000 things in here. Hey man, what's up? How are you doing? Hey guys, what's, what's, what's going on? Thank you. Do that. And I'm just, I, I literally just do this. I, I bring both of them first, everybody's engaged, good, bam. See that? That's bullshit. It's complete fucking bullshit, but works. Don't know why and I don't care. Okay. Shooting everything. You cast the stuff, whatever. You can cast this to make sure that they have, they're all dazed and shit. And you can do this again, because you can, for some reason, you're allowed to, which is ridiculous. Uh, should I have been blinding them? This blinds everyone? This this actually confuses everyone. But I like the... Um, this one is nicer. They're all nice, whatever. At this point, which is something that's really cool, actually. Um, yeah, both of these, just keep attacking. Something that's really, really cool at this point, which is one of the mechanics that I have to say I like the most, is that, um, why aren't you shooting stuff? Could you continue to shoot stuff, do this or something? Yes. That level one and level two spells, it, it le only level 12 does it become, um, level two spells as well, I believe. They become per encounter for mages and, and for uh, these guys and for priests, for everybody basically. And that's really cool. Because they could just use them, you know, they're pairing counter now, so I don't have to fear anything. anything. Come on. 
I'm just waiting for them to murder everything else. Come on! Why is it so slow? Enemies have so much HP. And it's dead. Come on! There you go, thank you. So yeah, I don't I don't actually deal tons of damage. I, I don't. I'm, I just don't deal that, that much damage. Um, I didn't really min-max my characters at all, and I'm not really working out through all of the systems properly, probably. <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, the game is really, really easy anyways, and I'll have to do that in the next playthrough. I kind of want to get, like, finish this game. I really want to finish this one and start Path of the Damned and start start actually doing stuff a little bit more seriously, maybe. Uh, or try to understand some of the mechanics and try out some of the, the stuff. Paladins, I tried Paladin a little bit, but not enough. Barbarians interest me, monks interest me, I want to see how they work a little bit better. Uh, chanters as well. Uh, ciphers I know are completely ridiculously OP. And uh, yeah, because uh, with, with this guy I'm just using the f a fine warbow that's, that has properties that's exceptional. Okay. It's exceptional, that's what it, that's what it is, just exceptional. And she's also using, like, I don't know, I, I didn't really min-max anything. He's using Rod of the Pale Ashes, which is amazing, and this guy's just using a fine crossbow, which is, he should probably be using something else. She's using a good friend. But whatever, I don't even, I don't even okay. care. It's fine. It's fine! Bears the impression of a thousand souls broken upon it. Your soul burns with remembered suffering. Maybe there's, something will happen there. There Would you go, that's a trap. This? Waiting for it. Level 9. Daybreak, superb, guardian, slaying, whatever the fuck, I don't care at all. Uh, how many diamonds? Yeah, all of them. What's this? Sneak attack bonus. Ooh. I guess that's nice. Oh, to flank targets. Yeah, whatever. Um, it's really nice. It's multi multiplicative, so that's awesome. Um, but there were, there were this, yeah, boots of speed. Fucking boots of speed! I found the boots of speed at the end of the game. You give me the boots of speed? You're kidding me! I wish it was as useful as it was in Baldur's Gate. In Baldur's Gate, that was like the thing that I wanted to get more than anything. More than anything, I wanted. Oh my god, I wanted boots of travel, boots of speed, travel. Thinking about Dota. But uh, yeah, in this game, I only have one right now, and I don't really need it because we got this, which makes everything move faster. Yeah, it stops in combat, but it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. Hey, of course. Okay, good. Just go. Especially the specters. Don't let the specters through. Are you dazed or something? I don't even know. Whatever. Kill the specters. Most importantly, the fucking specters. Focus, focus. Oh, that's a spec. That's another specter. Those are three specters in one Audra animate, which is fine. Let's give them a bit of time. Bam, bam. Do that again. Spectre's already dead. They don't have a lot of HP, which is lucky, you know. Huh? Hey. Kill it. So much HP. Of course. Oh, it healed itself? Screw that. What are you doing? You can you just die? Hey. Seriously, just. Huh? Guys, what are you. Yeah! Shoot it. Thank you. No idea what's going on. So yeah, boots of speed are not that amazing in this game, and I don't, I don't mind it. it that much. You know? And what does the flame reveal? But I was, I, I, I was like, ah, boots of speed! You finally give me boots of speed, you pieces of shit! I wanted that since, since before starting to play because I, I like boots of speed that much. There's so many traps in this room. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, no traps, fine. Hey, fine. Fine, just fine. Hey, hey. No traps, no traps, it's fine. Hey. Oh crap, there's a lot of eggs. Hey. Just, you stand there. Is there a Caliban Regal? No, there's just fuck tons of specters. Fine. Fine then, just a fuck ton of specters, I guess. You two not doing anything. Bam. Everybody can shoot. I don't know why they're always attacking this guy with their might and constitution drain. No fucking idea, but whatever. Not getting through me. Very fucking easy to kill the specter. Mostly annoying more than anything else. After them! Bam. Just killing it. There you go. 
incur okay. some burn and whatever. So yeah, everybody has the um, resting bonus from uh, Celestial Suit. I think it's the one in, in, in Defiance Bay. That's what I went with at the end, because that's what happened. I don't know. Hey. Not they really mind. see nothing while I see, see much. much. Hey. These, tons of potions. Apparently there are potions in this game that you could use that do things. Pillow tugs are your essence. Okay, it's the same thing as before. So yeah, there are potions and this? food in this game and crafting. Did you know there's crafting in this game? Huh? I had no fucking clue. No fucking clue. More stuff. Yay, more stuff. That, there's probably nothing here and we later need to maybe come back or maybe not. Maybe I'm just killing stuff for no reason. Which is fine. Hey, of course. Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, what's going on? Are you done with that? Are you done with that? Okay, cool. Yeah, you don't don't do anything. It's like ba bam. Cool. And you can actually do. I like this spell. I don't know why. It's not that useful, but I like it anyway. Yeah, then you can do burning stuff. Which I don't know how useful that is, but whatever. You can just come over here and do hallelujah. Yeah, and make sure they don't really deal damage to me or something. And uh, fetish caress. You can do fetish caress. Bewildering spectacle. Yeah, bewildering spectacle is nice because it confuses all of them. Boom, and then they're all green for no reason. Got him. Oh, is is oh he actually is prone for a second there. Oh, okay. You're not Come on, to just get rid of them already. I wish you no harm. You're not getting through me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and I found out the blunderbusses are apparently ridiculous. I didn't know that. Because what I originally saw when you look at the blunderbuss is that it deals really shit damage. And then you're asking, like, why does it sh deal shit damage? And to answer your question, you actually have to use it because it's not written anywhere. When you use it, it hits, like, five times. So it deals ridiculous amounts of damage. All right, All right then. That explains it. Well, thanks for n not telling me this. Just having it so. Uh, yeah, I just didn't know. I don't really care, but it was why why would you why would that be a thing and you don't tell anyone is is an odd is odd. Huh? Yeah, you guys can come over. Huh? Grieving mother, do this. Huh? And... Get off. Huh? Leave it to me. Ah, got him. And you die. And you find the trap. Thoughts will be as silent as my feet. No trap. Fine, Fine place. Huh? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so yeah, there's a, apparently a lot of stuff in this game that I don't know yet, which is fine. It's fine, you know. Still a process of discovery. Always fun to, to discover more new, interesting stuff about the game. And I'm I'm just eager to um to finish it really. Soul Guardian pri Pillars Prison. Pillars. Pillars of eternity. Okay, I'm sorry. Still wondering about the name. Still wondering about the name. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There are really interesting stuff, though. I mean, conversing with the gods was really cool, and the, the, all the stories, uh, each one of the characters' quests was interesting in its own way a little bit. Some of them was just, you know, talking to Dura and Safuktan and talking to Grieving Mother a ton during it was triggered through sleeps. And it was character progression that was really interesting. Uh, Alath was really cool. Edder was... Most of them were, were kind of sad in the end. Because most of them didn't really find proper conclusion, I'd say. Most of them just like, wow, and that sucks. Yeah. Oh, well, let's keep going. Kind of like that for, for pretty much everybody. That's how I felt. Which is okay, because most of them were kind of far-fetched. So, I want to know what happened to my brother. Well, the chance for you to know that is really low. So, mm. Yeah, if you find a little bit, you should just oh, be happy right and there. shut up about it. If secrets whisper Which is basically what happened. 
Ooh, tendrils and shit. Huh? Okay, so I'm gonna assume. Hey. Okay. Wow, lots of money. Wow, I, I really need money. Of course. Never bought a single thing in the entire game. Okay, there you go. Cutscene time. Okay. Shh, I'm shutting. I'm shutting the fuck up. So Iovaro, from from we've been having these visions of, of our past lives throughout the entire game, and from what I can understand, Iovara is is someone that was was in there but understood she she was doing the wrong thing. She was very close to Theos, and um, there's lots of stuff with her that I'm not gonna. I, I don't know. It's a lot of very gray areas. I'm not really sure what what's happening, but we're definitely seeing a lot of Yovara right now. And in this portrait specifically, you can see that her half of her face is already burned. So this is after Theos caught her and tormented her, which was also fun. A column of water rises above you, stoic and silent, its rigid layers a measuring stick for the passing of ages. It feels to you as a thick block of ice, and you perceive buried deep in its core a dim, flickering flame, all but extinguished, yet preserved against the ravage of the elements. As you approach, the flame seems to steady and draw strength, and the layers separating it from you melt away, and you are bathed in its glow, a bright beacon in the gloom. The glow seems to fade as though you had adjusted to its intensity, and where it was, Irvar seeps into existence, an idiolic shade hovering above the moist prison floor. Though ageless, she appears somehow different to you now, a slight stoop to her carriage, perhaps, or a trace of sunkenness in her eyes. There is a broad scar across her face, fibrous and wormy, where flames once lapped, unhealed even in death. Hello, old friend. The ages have been kind to you, I hope. You are so different now from who you were then, yet much remains the same. Old troubles with a new face. What is it that has brought you here? We were an initiate that was very close to Theos and very close to Ayavara, and we were sent by Theos to spy on Ayavara, but we just came up to her apparently and pretty much told her, or she kind of knew that we were there to spy on her, and, um, well, she was working with people who, who, who to convert people from Theos to not being horrible people, pretty much, or something like that, and... Uh, yeah, and there was a lot of stuff there. I guess I'll be honest, because that's what I've, I've always been honest. It would seem that I have unfinished business here. I'd hoped after our last discussion you would find what you sought. Has it eluded you all this time? I can only guess your presence here has something to do with Theos. The energy of this place changes when he is near. I don't know what he has done, but I do know of the souls that pass through here now. They do not come by choice. Yeah, Theos again is taking the souls. Theos diverted them from the cycle he seeks to empower Woodica and to blame Animancy for the damage he's caused. After all this time, he would still stand against the tide. You knew me when Theos did. There's something I need to know about that time. I will tell you what I remember. There's something about that lifetime my soul can't let go of. I need to know what it is, and I'm running out of time. I see moments from that life, a view of the Inquisition, of Theos. I can see his influence, still hanging like a weight about your neck. So it always was. He had inspired something in you. We spoke of him the last time you were here also. It was just after the trial. You were agitated. I think because you started to consider that what I was teaching may have been true. And what was that? Yovara's mouth tightens and her brow furrows, a look of pity. Her eyes shift back and forth between each of yours, as if looking for something that would help her decide whether to speak. That the gods aren't real. That the gods aren't real. Huh. I'd dreaded the idea from the moment the Delamgon suggested it. And yet, it almost feels like a relief. Did they suggest it? They said the gods aren't real at some point? I don't remember that. Bitter dry laugh. She's not serious. <laughs> Perhaps not to her. Many are those whom the gods have scorned. This is petty retribution. Shut up, Durance. That doesn't seem possible. 
What I taught was that the gods whose faith we had been spreading were not gods at all, but something else entirely. Something created by people. Uh, okay. How, how did you discover this is actually the most interesting question out of these three. Who created, who created them, this is why you started your own faith, and how? The Anguithan missionaries all knew it, but they never told the rest of us. They meant it to be a secret that died with them. And in the end, they allowed their bloodlines to fade from memory. I had been assigned to join a few of them at a temple. I found the door to their chambers closed, but the room was stone and the door thin. Their voices carried. I heard... enough. I investigated the things they spoke of, and everything was there, just as they said it'd be. Okay... Later on, after I left the Order, a few Nguithians found my words persuasive and joined my cause. They revealed what I did not already know. So this is why you started your own faith. I never thought of it as faith, but I think you are right to call it that. Hmm. Let the world see. Let them decide what to do. That was my faith. I became a missionary because the gods brought me hope that I wanted to bring to others. For a time, the truth sent me to a dark place. Then the day came when I realized nothing had changed. That I still had a purpose, and the purpose was the same and it was worth living for. I began questioning the other missionaries in public, exposing their parlor tricks. In time, their following became mine. So who created the gods in what for? They were conceived by Enguid. A society of high minds and broad concerns. Theos' people. Hmm. In their time, every people worshipped its own gods. Sometimes they warred over it. After a few wars of their own, the Anguithans sought an end to it. They devoted all their energy to finding the true creators. Generation after generation, they prodded and worked the stitching of the world and unlocked its secrets. One day, they found an answer. Except the answer was no answer at all. There were no gods to be found. Or if there ever were, they were gone. I don't know what to make of this exactly, but okay. I mean, what? because this, this explanation is kind of like, so they found there were no gods. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, fine. So, mm, I don't know. But, well... Okay, I guess. I, I, I definitely have to say that if, if this is like... I'm assuming what she's saying is true. Um, I like it. I really like it, actually. Because, you know, I, I myself don't believe in God. Let's not make this into a religious debate, but... Um, to me, it's very obvious that gods were created by man. So I like it. It shook them, this finding. If they could discover this on their own. How long until others would? How long before war and chaos reigned over a world without consequence? But they had mastered many things in their pursuit of these answers. And with their mastery, they crafted their own gods to fill the void, and sent missionaries to the corners of the world to spread their faith. Okay. Sounds like a really stupid solution, though. I mean, for someone who's so smart, it's like, yeah, there's no gods, and we don't want anybody else to know, so let's make gods. That's kind of like, a, I don't... I mean, I understand the need for a god. Well, if I'll, if I'll continue that sentence, people will probably kill me. Um, I understand the need for gods for most societies, but as society grows, you I mean, if they, they were very smart, very intelligent... Okay, no, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed of it, and I don't feel bad too bad about saying that, but for people who are less intelligent, <laughs> I'm going to get so much chat for this, for people who are less intelligent, they need God, because they need something to give them purpose, And but, but as, as society becomes more and more intelligent, then you need God less, and you don't need God at all, and you understand there is no point in God, there is no God, and... That's fine. So I don't really understand this decision that the Nguithians did here. 
Is it true what you tell You asked me this once before. Nothing I can say would be any proof. Yeah. And it may be certainty your soul craves. Mm-hmm. Resolution. But if you are bound for the same place Theos directs these souls, you will see for yourself, as you once did. Everyone faces this truth at one time or another. Few confront it. You have the stomach to ask what if. And in avoiding the question, they deny themselves an identity of their own. She's basically like the the faith of being an atheist. <laughs> She's like the missionary of of that. It's funny. It's a little. It's interesting and funny. I like this game's lore, man. It's really good. They tackle some interesting fucking questions. This is. It's really cool. I mean, it's slightly sad that it, you only get it at the end of the game, but. You know, this is just the first game. This is just the start of this universe, and they're going to continue it forward. So I'm, I'm really interested in this. This is really cool. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Ivar scans her audience in silence, her eyes thoughtful, lingering on each member of your company in turn, finding interest in, unseen, in things unseen. What if all the tragedy, all the persecution, came in defense of an imposter? Oh, she's not, no, she's going to go 1-1 one, one and address them specifically. So, okay. So she looks to Edder. That's not... That, that can't be right. Aethys, he... He's done miracles for people. The power of the gods is undeniable. The truth of the story they weave is not. What if it were forbidden knowledge rather than fault that earned your doom? What of your guilt? I have seen with my own eyes the deceptions of my god. Watcher has shown me as much. But it was not until now that I understood how truly desperate she was. The depths of her deception. Yeah, during, during Durance's quest, I mean, the end of it is pretty much him understanding that his god is kind of pretty much renouncing his fate. Not entirely. I mean, it was if he'll renounce his fate completely, then he won't be a priest anymore, won't have any priest spells anymore. And because he's gonna remain a priest. He says, you know what, fuck her, I'm, I'm gonna use her power, I'm gonna continue using her power, though fuck her, because he really hates his god, because screw his god, so he's kind of like, yeah, fuck it. Um, interesting, it's, it's, Durance is a very interesting character that I hate, but I, I, I hate him, I hate his, I love the fact that his character is so de well developed, I hate the character that came out, but I love it, you know, I hope I don't explain this correctly. You speak of her deceptions. But what of your own? Was it her words that led you down your path? Or was it the absence of her words? A gap that you filled with your own broken thoughts. Bees of sweat coalesce Endurance's forehead head. Endurance's forehead and trickle down the sides of his face in steaming revolts. As though he were a block of ice standing before a great pyre. What if you had always been alone, without guidance? Her eyes settle on a law. Well... As poorly as I've chosen my guides, I suppose it would be a comfort to know that I'm free of them. Hmm. The freedom has always been. It was the guidance that was the illusion. What if our burdens come to us not because they are meant to be, but because they happen to be? All the more reason to cast them off. We have no guarantees beyond this life. Better to enjoy our days while we can. That's the fucking... That's why I love Sagami. That's why I love... I love this character. Sagami's, like, probably one of my favorite characters, if not the favorite character. I mean, I love Edder and Aloth are cool, Endurance is insane, but Sagami... She's just awesome, you know? She's just so practical and rational, and what she just said is pretty much my mantra in life, okay? Is we have no guarantees beyond this life. Better to enjoy it. That's, that's my goal in life, is to enjoy my life. How do I enjoy my life? Doing things that I like and enjoy doing, such as create great experiences for people, which is why I'm aspiring to be a game designer and a game developer, because I think that's the best medium. That's my, like my life in a nutshell. And Sagani just said that. Damn, this game is good. What if the cycle of birth and death is nothing more than a tool of endless preoccupation. <laughs> preoccupation. It's more of the bullshit, pretty much. <laughs> she faces the grieving mind directly, seeming to see her as she does everyone else. 
The grieving mother returns over our gaze, nodding her head almost imperceptibly. For a moment, all is silent. Well, the grieving mother, I like her too. I like the character. I'm getting really fucking hot in here. And I'm not going to take out all my clothes. I'm just going to do this instead. And turn on the air conditioning just a little bit. But also close the window. Because, guys... If you turn on the air conditioning, close the window. Because that's really not cool to do. Because that's waste electricity. It's not cool. Probably turn it off in like five minutes, but that's fine. Everyone nods back, seemingly moved by some unspoken understanding. Well, yeah, the grieving mother is like, it's crazy, just like, okay. You feel the weight of Ivar's translucent eyes upon your soul. What if we can be assured of nothing? Then the only value is in the things we create ourselves. Wonderful. And we had best to build our own strength so we can bear it. Not really. The only, then only when we cease to exist as beings can peace be found. It is the questions that have always posed more value than the answers. Then the fewer people who realize that, the better. No, more people realize it, the better. Then all we can do is endure. No, why endure? Life is, we, we, yeah, we endure life, but we also enjoy it. Only value is the thing we create ourselves. I'm going to go with one. And in the lives we create, is this not the essence of motherhood? To create, cherish, nurture, to give of yourself for the sake of another. Shut up. There is bliss to be found in the things we create. But sorrow as well. Every creation bears the imperfections of its creator, and its creator's creator. Art and song are creations, but so are weapons and lies. We must be careful that our creations do not consume us. Totally, bitch. I ask these things not to trouble you, but to show why they must be confronted. No answer is simple. But somewhere between them all lies a truth so beautiful, not even a god could conceive it. Hmm. Do we not owe ourselves a chance to find our part in it? We do, even without assurances, there is still truth. No, nope, people need to know that things happen for a reason. Fabricated reason is better than none at all. Bullshit! Never press two! Two is the worst number! Worst number! I don't think it makes much of a difference either way. Also bullshit, we do, even without assurances, is still the truth. Totally if it's truly what you believe, then you are a far different person than the one I knew. I clicked one, didn't I? I, don't know. I've been alone here with my thoughts for so long now. I've found peace with my failures and with my punishment. I hope it's loud enough. I no longer curse fate for what might have been. But there is one thing that has clawed and scraped at my mind all these years. One thing that will not be put to rest until I know. Until I understand. Hints of doubt trace her serene visage. I need to know why you chose to remain with the Inquisition. Even after you'd learned the truth. Do you... Do you remember? Sorry, there are no assurances. <laughs> it's like, that's a cruel thing to say. As she asks, the memory springs to your mind immediately, as though it had just happened. Uh, your teachings were a threat to all I believed in. I resented you. I wanted to please the gods. Your capture brought me glory. I was afraid of what Theos might do to me if I didn't agree to it. I don't think I had a reason. I just did it. Now I get to choose. Fuck me. Ed. None of them are good. I resented you. Well, first of all, I don't know, but... I don't know. I don't think I had a reason. I just did it. All these years thinking about it, I don't think I ever imagined you did it without cause. This changes things. Does it? Really? Good. Good. The things I taught, the things I believed, I needed to hear that. I needed to know it wasn't because... Blanks as though awakening from a fearful dream. Because I doubted you? Because I thought Theos was right? I knew I needed to know it wasn't because after everything you'd learned, you'd still rather believe in a lie. If that is a conclusion people reach once they know everything, then my purpose has been a mistake. Yeah. Did my opinion matter so much to you? Because I love you! Um, that seems a harsh connection to draw. Did my opinion matter so much to you? You were more than a friend. Yeah, baby. You were the only person I trusted. Oh. I always believed in your judgment. Never have I felt so confident in my beliefs as the day you arrived in my camp. Okay. 
You had heard both sides, seen everything. If not you, then who? Never going to be able to convince everyone of anything, true or not. There will always be dis dissent. Your optimism has always been misplaced. Oh, there will always be dissent, that's true. I expected dissent. But I needed to know that true faith would prevail. Perhaps I've been wrong to place so much importance on one person's actions. It was all I could do to feel like there was an answer. People who made this game? I feel like they're... Pro I mean, that this is what they believe in as well, which is fucking awesome, you know? And and I, I like them all the more so because of it. Even knowing what you've told me, some part of me knows it doesn't truly answer what I wish to know. Nor will an eternity of silent contemplation. Maybe a pillar? I will have only my guesses and suspicions. <laughs> and that will have to do. Maybe a pillar of eternity? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. By pillar? I mean my di- And what of your understanding of our past? Are you at ease with the choice you made? I see the world differently now than I once did. I regret what I did to you and wish your forgiveness. You have always had my forgiveness. Oh. No matter your reason. Oh. There are circumstances behind that reason we all share. Knowing that, it is difficult to hold spite in one's heart. At first I thought this might be the source of your soul's anguish. But now I see I was mistaken. You are not divided on this matter. You have put it behind you. It is with Theos that your agony lies, in sun and shadow. Your questions are not for me, but for him. And it may be that only an answer from the mouth of Theos himself will satisfy your needs. So let's go ask him. With a sword. Yet if there is anything I can tell you that would be of use, ask and you shall know. Are you bound here till the end of time? In a matter of speaking. This is Braith Yan, the court of the penitents. Souls are confined here until they repent. They must beg the forgiveness of a god, pledge their soul to them, and they will be lifted from this place to the world above. In truth, they receive leniency, but not true mercy. The spite of Wudika is eternal. They linger above, at the side of the old court, and are not permitted to leave the island, forever severed from the cycle. This prison was full once in the days of the Inquisition. But time weathers all things, even will. I'm the only tenant who remains. Yet, I feel their presence stronger now, as it was in the beginning. You have brought many of them here. Cry out for the judgment of Theos. You have struck some bargain with the gods then. Yep, the other gods aid me because they want Theos destroyed. I owe them no debt. They aid you because they would bend you to their own purposes. Obviously. Angwith built gods from ideals. And an ideal on its own is a grotesque and vicious thing. Totally. But these souls, these forgiven the gods have bequeathed you like chattel. They were loyal followers in life. They will be with you to the very end. When did you repent? You could be free of this place. Last time someone asked me that. I was bound to an iron wheel with a broken spine. Yeah. There are many things I've come to doubt about the choices I made in life. But that trial was my one moment of certainty. Even without a chorus of gods to tell me I had been right. The gods need to be reminded that we have a spirit, and that spirit is proof against their power. They have the power to manipulate and confuse and ruin us, but not to change our will. I will remain here until the world crumbles and fades from existence with joy in my heart, knowing I've shown them what they truly are. I agree with her sentiment, but not with... I, like, I completely agree with her, but personally, I wouldn't just stick around in one place for like a minute of time, you know? It's kind of silly, so I'm trying to move on and shit. But I totally agree with her. This place is Sun and Shadow, what is it? Uh, this place, Sun and Shadow, what is it? I could tell what I believe, but again, it would be no proof. I have only what I have seen and what others have told me about it. There's only one man who can tell you now and knows it to a certainty, and you shall face him soon enough. I will believe you. I will leave you to see it for yourself, make your own judgments better for your soul than that way, I think. 
How is it that you speak Adarian? I speak no language now, but the wordless expressions of the spirit, it is through my connection to you that I'm able to draw upon your words and form them as my own. That makes sense. Uh, do you know what it is I need from Theos? I could not say for sure, but you have been to Sun and Shadow before, hmm. and it came at a crossroads in your life when much of what you knew had been upended. Upended? I have to believe it will come to you there. Your concerns then were of loyalty and trust and the gods. Everything I told you seemed to send you further into doubt. His words mattered to you when you knew him then. After you and I spoke, you went immediately to seek him out. Perhaps you simply sought confirmation from the man you trusted. If something from that time still troubles you, it may be something he told you then, or refused to tell you. He keeps secrets better than any in this world. Why has Thanos done all this? He cares only for the secret he keeps locked away. He destroys anyone who might discover it, no matter their chances. That's why he's always favored Wudika. It isn't in her love of promises or justice. It's her disregard for the rules. Her willingness to do what is necessary. He's so cool. To Theos, she's not a deity, but an ally with which to conspire. Dick. When her power waxes. She does as she pleases with this realm, as well as hers. And she wants that secret guarded as much as he. I'm assuming this, I mean, the secret is that the gods aren't real, right? I mean, I'm assuming that's, that's the secret we're talking about right here, right? Right? If Theos succeeds, there will be a shift in the balance of power among the gods. Wudika was vanquished once when the other gods decided she had gone too far and her power diminished. With this infusion, there is no telling what she will do. The only certainty is that there will be chaos in their realm, as well as ours. Yeah, it's probably not gonna be good. This is, by the way, this reminds me of, um, of Dragonlance. Of, like, the, fuck, is it the... It's after the main seven books, it's after the seasons, I think it's... It's not the War of the Brothers, or... It's the War of Souls, isn't it, with Mina? It's the War of Souls with, with Mina. Yeah, that one. Where she stole the world. I'm assuming most people who are watching this that have... I mean, if you've read it, then you know what, the, what I'm talking about. If you haven't read it, the chances of you reading it are very low. Because Dragonlance is awesome, but it's for a 14, 15-year-old, and you can't really read it if you're, if you're a grown-up. Is, is kind of how I feel. I mean, it's kind of too childish for me at this point. Uh, 14, 15 year olds should very much enjoy teenagers. It reminds me of that. I don't know. Does it remind you? If, you, if you're in any idea what the fuck I'm talking about, then if it reminds me, let me know. Because I think it's like, I don't know. It seems like. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, how can I get those to tell me what I need to know? You will not find a more resolute being on all of Eora. There is no offer you could make, nor spell you could cast, nor pain you could inflict that would make him reveal what he hides. But I see you have become a watcher in this life. Yeah. Perhaps in defeat, when he can no longer defend himself, you might learn something. Yeah, you kill him and then you read the soul. I mean, that's obvious. That's what I've been doing this entire fucking game. Okay, it's time for me to go, bitch. Theos will not wait for you. If you do not catch up to him now, you may never find him again. Yeah. The gods have given me the souls of their forgiven. If you repent, you could join with them. Help me strike the final blow against Theos. Your defiance here is an illusion. You are a slave to the gods. Not gonna say that. If you hadn't planned doubt in my mind long ago, I'd be living a normal life right now. Before I go, I will repay you for this curse. I don't want to kill her, you fucking... Oh my god. Then I will waste no more time. Farewell, Iovar. I, I feel like... Okay, two and three are complete bullshit. I'm not gonna... Fuck those numbers. Um, one is like... I feel like it would be a slight just asking it because I, I I believe in her cause so much that morally speaking, even though she might actually, she probably won't join me first of all, and I think it'll be just be a slight to her that'll make make her feel bad, and she already like fucking feels really bad anyways. So I'm not even gonna say that, and I'm just gonna morally, you know, morally, I'm just gonna go and press four, and there is no more time to waste for well. It was good to see you again one last time, old friend. I thought I'd seen my last friendly face long ago. If ever we should meet again, 
in this life or any other. I hope to find you at peace. Bye! Yep. Hey. Okay, that was very interesting and very awesome. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on, really? There's fucking some. Of... Oh, stop doing that, you sack of shit. Instantly into a fight, eh? Fuck him up. He's got ridiculous amounts of HP. Thank you. So, as I, what I was saying is that that was really awesome. Will be as and, as oh, no, no, no. Stop. Don't. Oh, God, no. Whatever the fuck just happened. Uh, no, don't go over it. Oh, no. Just. My thoughts will be as silent as my. Oh, it actually hit her? It actually hit her. Fucking hell. Did not mean for that to happen at all. But it did. Hey. Whatever. Whatever. Take tons of damage. I, I really don't care about anybody except for pretty much Edder taking damage because they're gonna stay back and they're not supposed to take damage. Um. Anyways. So whatever. My eyes are peeled. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It can't be supplies. Hey. So. It's true. The gods are a sham that people have followed. Oop. Yep. Gods are a lie. Um, oh, a lot everybody wants to talk to me now. <laughs> okay, let's just talk to them. Actually, we're, we're, we're nearing an end for today, so let's just go down and see what happens. If it's just the last fight, I might just go like an hour and a half. Fuck it, let's just go and do it. We've been lied to. Our whole lives, and many lives before that. And it's led us to put our faith in a pantheon of gods that never deserved it in the first place. People need something to believe in. The gods, however, they came to be, have served that purpose. No, fuck that. I'm not. That's not rational. This is bullshit. Theos is. Well, fuck. I'll go. I'll go with that because everything else is probably shit. What difference does it make? People want. Uh, will will be what they are, whether or not they are gods to believe in. Theos is wrong. Most people are fundamentally decent. Knowing the truth can only make them better. I disagree completely with that. It's an outrage. There's no excuse for misleading people like this. Eh, the Unguithians were right. People are fools and can't be trusted with some kind of authority looming over them. Without some kind of authority looming over them. Put that over there. It's an outrage. There's no excuse for misleading people. Yeah, I'll go with passionate this time. I am passionate about this subject. You're right. People will be better off finding direction on their own than following this farce. Yep. Besides, the gods haven't exactly done much to prevent us from slaughtering each other. Pretty much. If anything, they've only given us more pretenses for doing so. Totally. Seems like that's all they've been doing of late. I've also been thinking, there won't be much left of Theos by the time you're done with him. <laughs> if I know how you operate. <laughs> that will leave the leaden key headless. Perhaps it's best it stays that way. Oh, you want to take over, bitch? Hmm. You wanna you wanna take over the leading key? To do what? This question. I agree. No, headless. Fuck them. Then let's face Theos. When this is all over, I'll make sure that no one is able to commit his abuses again. Totally. And Edder wanted to talk. <laughs> well, doesn't that just beat all? Here I was wondering all this time whether all these terrible things were people's fault or the gods. Turns out they might be the same thing. Yep. I wonder how things would have gone different 15 years ago if the Raid Sarens had been told their god was made in some forge or killed someplace. Would we still have gone to war? People were starving. They'd rebel sooner or later. It was their god who made them believe they were right. I doubt they'd have fought if they knew he was fallible. No point in wondering about that. No, totally one. People were starving. They'd rebel sooner or later. I could see the rebellion still happening, but I don't know that they would have invaded. He looks down at the ground, drumming his fingers against his side restlessly. When he speaks again, it seems half to himself. I don't know. Yeah, life sucks, dude. When Woden left for war, we uh, had a fight. As brothers will. Uh, what about? About him going off to war. He was set on it. My parents warned him. They said you get a new country with every trip across the border, but your god, you only get the one. Me? I didn't know who was right. All I knew was I didn't want him to go. It's the same for families as it is for gods. 
You only get the one. That's really not true, though. Dude, you totally make your own family. Come on. Come on, it's bullshit. You, you totally make families, man. That's, it's fucking easy. It's easy. You just make some really good friends and you just stay with them and they're your new family, bro. Or you make babies, I guess. But babies are not the best way to do that if you're stupid. Let's not get into that discussion. I said every vicious thing I could think of, trying to change his mind. He brushed it off. Just got me madder, of course, him being so calm. He said I should come with him, but he'd understand if I didn't want to. I told him he'd better be able to face his god one day and answer for what he'd done. He said he'd keep that in mind. And then he was gone. By the time I had cooled off, months had passed. One morning it dawns on me that my brother always knew better than me. If he was so sure of what he was doing, then I should be there with him. I packed my things and was on the road that same morning. Of course, what I didn't know then was he'd already changed his mind. By that time, he was dead on my feet. Do you think he went to Whitewind because of what you'd said to him? Crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. You live in a place like Gilded Vale. You don't have a whole lot else to do other than think about things you don't want to think about. Oh. I hope that wasn't it. I hope he went there because it's what he thought was right. But it seems I'm not meant to know. If you left him, so you, if you'd left with him, you'd have known why he changed his mind. I'm not even gonna say that. Let's be on our way. Still one more mess we gotta straighten out. Come on, man. I still owe you. Nobody else wants to talk to me? Fine. So, uh, there's like supplies here, so I'm just gonna do this. And then this. So now I have full supplies again. And the question is this is Sun and Shadow. So I'm assuming that this is the last map in the game and there's actually an achievement for visiting every map in the game so unless I fucked up if I click this I'll get that achievement so I know we're like an hour and two minutes which is more than we usually do but let's do that uh, 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 let's fucking do it Maybe I fucked up, maybe I missed something though. There's a... Sometimes I hate Steam, sometimes, but yeah. Let's see just what happens. This is like the last one, then... And... Memories of the Ancients, Search for Theos. Okay, so people are being really annoying right now. Hey. Okay, so... I'm assuming this is the last one. I didn't get the experience. Hey. Um, but... Search for Theos. This is, like, really the last one. So I'm just thinking right oh, now... Right should I continue... Um... I'm wondering if I should continue or not. I should just make another video, like, later. Or something should I separate it because that was the main story or maybe I should just do it and you know off stream and that's it because it's just the end of the game and fuck I don't know I mean I am going to play it again but I'm gonna play it again to pass the damned and you know weekly properly normally not like we did with Baldur's Gate we're gonna totally gonna do that chill okay um, but I don't know it is late and I'm tired <laughs> Not in the day, we just, we've been recording for like an hour. I think I should stop this one here. Mm, it was pretty good. And maybe we'll make another one pretty quick and we'll just, I don't know, we'll see. I'll think about it, I'll think about it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll finish this game and then we'll start anew with Path of the Damned and we'll have some more fun and, and we'll, I don't know. I don't know, I'm thinking about what to, what to do next from now on. I think playing this will be a lot of fun, like, completely through. I, I definitely want to play it again. And, um, 
I'm just like asking myself, would that be the good thing to, to make videos of? So let me know if you've got any ideas. And um, in, in terms of just continuing this or maybe trying to find other games to do and other, other stuff to do, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Probably this, though. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I just need to finish the game. Um, maybe I'll make another video today or maybe not, which will just be this last map. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys.